Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about the comics I have read and tell you where you can get those. Um, first, I would like to tell you about uh, some of the comics that are live on campaigns, Kickstarter, and Indiegogo right now. So I will start with a uh, comic that is on Indiegogo right now, and it is called Dark Threads. Surfer Girl, the graphic novel, and uh, it is, I'm not really sure what it was about, but uh, it sounded interesting enough for me to want to back it, so check that out right now, and uh, let's see, oh shoot, <laughs> sorry, I am uh, very lo-fi on this, low-tech, the next up on my on what to back right now. Um, this currently has 10 days to go and it is Cherry Gilbert Necromancer and it is from Ayala and Pat Shand. Pat Shand is the creator of the Destiny New York series that I am a very big fan of and this is a branch off from that series uh, dealing with characters in that same universe. and. Destiny New York I think has three graphic novel volumes out and uh, a gangster Asperista. A lot of good stuff from that universe. Um, very weird uh, sci-fi kind of supernatural world where people have uh, prophecies and fulfill them and different powers in that world. Next up on what to back is... Uh, oh shoot, I messed up again. Sorry about that. Um, this is one I just barely backed today. And this is called Stephen Frank's Palomino. And it is, a ba it, it is about uh, a club that plays country music and uh, just the people that are in it. Um, Stephen Frank uh, writes a series called Silver that is about uh, vampire slayers and I, I'm a big fan of that uh, so this is from Dark Planet Comics they're running the Kickstarter and uh, you might even know Stephen Frank from uh, he did a lot of work on the Iron Giant and uh, yeah so that looks like a promising series can't wait to see what it's about I'm really not really re uh, looking into uh, finding out what it's about because I already know I'm going to like Stephen Frank's work so I'm going to just trust and pleasantly be surprised when I do find out what it's about and uh, oh, there's Stephen Frank right now with the silver comic I was talking about and what else is uh, currently on the Kickstarters I think that's all that I'm backing right now but here's one that I would really appreciate if you checked out it is my own campaign for uh, Rent Arb Studios pins, and uh, it is currently running till the end of May. And uh, if you would like one of a pin that looks like my Rent Arb Studios alien, you can get that. And uh, Peter Pan's The Vampire issues one, two, and three can also be added as rewards along with that. So if you're interested in my comics, uh, check that out. You could get the hard copies there that way. Um, you could always go get the digital copies of Peter Pan the Vampire for free on IndiePlanet.com. Uh, that's just my thing. Uh, right now, I don't feel like I should be charging for my in digital downloads because, uh, I don't know, I just want people to read it right now and get to know me and then buy my hard copies. So that's all I got for you on Kickstarter right now. Um, so now let's get to the reviews. Uh, first up is a comic called Saffron. And Saffron, this is about an inch shorter than a regular comic book, as you can see uh, from this comic. There's about half inch on the side and a half inch on the top just a little different 
Saffron is created by um, Samuel George London, that's the writer, and artist Rosie Alexander, editor team Aaron Rackley and Tom Stewart. Saffron is published by uh, Fair Sparks Books, and it is about the Space Academy for Fundamental Research, Fundamental Representatives of Nexus, or Saffron for short. And Saffron happens to be also the uh, the name of a main character, Saffron, who is a twin who fell through a wormhole when she was. Uh, five years old, I think. Let me see here. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. But, so while she's been missing for uh, five years, or, or for three, I don't know, uh, her sister Jazz has been aging in her own time. And uh, this story is, as you can see from the artwork, is is a little bit cartoony very neon colored wise and uh it was a fun read uh i think i backed it because on their their platform was that they were all the proceeds go to little heroes which is uh little heroes comics dot u c o u k and uh they distribute comic books to uh, hospitals and kits that uh, the kids and patients can uh, make their own comic books. So I thought that was a that was a neat little thing to back and uh, help out. So yeah, uh, check out Saffron from uh, oh jeez, Fair Sparks Books. It is very, very safe for uh, kids to read. Very kid-friendly. Next up is a comic called The Incident Report. The Incident Report is one I found from Kickstarter. And it is about a world where... Uh... Well, let me start first with the credits. Sorry about that. It is created by Mark G. Puppo and Brian Sippen. Written by Mark Romero. Art by Ryan Best, letters by HDE Ponsabi Jones, and edited by Claire Napier, with additional work by Brant Fowler, Polina Ganuchel, Carlos Trigo, Diogo Yoshikawa, Luis Cuevo, Mark Oliver, Rianne White, Bethany. Carlos Terland, Henry Sacedo, Harris O'Malley, aka Dr. Nerdlove, and a handful of whimsy, Cece Affini. I'm sorry if you can hear my kids playing, but uh, that's how it goes when you're in Renton Arb Studios' basement here in reviews. Oh, yeah, and also. Uh, if you look right here, you will see it says Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics on the uh, thank you page to all the Kickstarter backers. Okay, so let's get started on uh, Incident Report is about a world where um, superpowers are uh, coming into the public light and basically they have a bureau that takes care of... Uh, things like that. So the main character is a lady named Annie and on her first assignment she has to uh, she gets called out on a toddler that can fly. The father uh, needs help uh, getting a hold of his kid and then uh, she gives him pamphlets and stuff on how to uh, deal with that and train and uh, be able to handle that kind of stuff. She starts off with a harness for the flying kid and a leash and then she, she gets called out on another assignment of picking up a uh, an agent that out at the airport and on the way back to base 
they get called in on a bank robbery and there's other people with powers here there's fire powers and ice powers it's it's basically a world if uh, of like if the X-Men were accepted and instead of feared and hated people actually trained and uh, had ways and a system in place to uh, know how to deal it and there's a lot of back material in here on how it the history of them news articles and stuff fictional news articles about this world and uh, back material on the creation of this comic book so it, it was a fun read I I definitely recommend checking out Incident Report um, if there's an issue 2 coming to Kickstarter uh, I think I will be there to check that one out again too keep going on that storyline to find out where this is going and find out how this how this world uh, how this world is so thank you for listening to my reviews and Hi, do go and check out hey Johnny do go and check out my Kickstarter for Rent Art Studios pins um, I would greatly appreciate it and that is all for today Say bye, Johnny. Bye.